Thanks, uh, Kirlik, and I'm um, sharing the short time available with, uh, with, with Minister McHugh also. Um, I'd like to assure the House that the COVID-19 outbreak is receiving careful attention right across government. As we learn more about the vi virus, we will continue to take actions that are uh, proportionate and based always on medical advice. My own department has for some time, so for some time now been dealing with the implications of, of the COVID-19 virus for Irish citizens overseas. Staff at our embassies and consulates on the ground and here in Dublin are providing extensive consular advice and assistance to citizens in affected areas across the globe. As always, we encourage our citizens to register their details on our citizens' registration facility, which is available on the Department of Foreign Affairs website. This will help us to contact people travelling and enables us to provide assistance in the event of a crisis such as this one. We are working closely with our EU partners and other like-minded countries uh, and with the WHO, uh, who are leading global efforts to control the spread of this virus and mitigate its impact, particularly in countries with, with weaker health systems. We have already contributed over a million euros in support to these efforts. We're also working with the Department of Health, of course, and other relevant departments and agencies, both in Ireland and internationally, to ensure that all appropriate advice and precautions are in place. Our dedicated advice line, uh, activated on the 25th of February, will remain open at uh, 01613-1733. More generally, my department issues travel advice in respect to over 200 countries. This is available uh, on the department's website and also on our TravelWise app, which provides advice for staying safe uh, and inform information uh, when abroad. I would encourage everybody to download the app and, of course, uh, to take out travel insurance before travelling overseas. Over the past two weeks, uh, due mainly to the COVID-19 outbreak, we have updated our travel advice in respect of over 100 countries. We have raised the overall security status in respect of China and Iran, uh, now advising non-essential uh, travel. Um, now, uh, we now advise against non-essential travel uh, to regions uh, of South Korea, and we have given further details uh, about local developments in Japan and Singapore. Based on advice from medical experts and in line with many EU partners, we upgraded our advice in relation to Italy uh, on the 3rd of March, that's this week, and we're now recommending against non-essential travel uh, to the four uh, regions that are impacted in northern Italy. We will, of course, continue to review and update our travel advice and to provide consular support and assistance to all our citizens overseas.